Hi all, welcome to .NET Mob. Myself Shamsi. In this video, we will discuss how to create user registration form in MVC applications. In the previous video, we have discussed how to create a user login page and logout system in MVC application. So you can combine these two tutorials in your upcoming MVC projects to make a complete user login and logout system with, with user registration form. Related video links will be there in video description and in the topmost comment of this video. Please go through that. Let me create a fresh MVC application for that. Go to file, then new project. Select web and Visual C sharp, then ASP.NET web application. Name your application here. Then select the location where you want to save the application and click on OK. Then select MVC. Keep it others as it is click on ok that's it we have our fresh brand new mvc application here let me open my management studio here we have a db app db and it contains only one table user and its design looks like this it contains four columns user id user name password and is admin user id is the primary key for the table Identity specification is given for user ID column. Because of that, we don't want to insert values into the column. SQL Server will take care of that. It will start from 1, then incremented by 1 upon new record insertion. Currently, the user table is empty. Now let me add ADO.NET Entity model of our database into model folder. For that, right click on models, then add new item. Select data, then select ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Name your model here. Click on Add. Keep it as it is. Generate from database. Click on Next. Then click on New Connection. Then specify your SQL Server instance name here. Then select your DB. In my case, it is app DB. Click on OK. Then I want to change this uh, name in app config as DB models. Click on next. Then select the objects that we need in our entity model. In our case, we have only one user table. So I am selected user. Click on finish. So this is our entity model diagram for user tab. So under models you can see user class here. This is auto generated by uh, adding idiot entity model. So we will be using this user class for our model class purpose. Now let me add user controller for that. Right click on controllers, then add controller. Select empty controller, name your controller, user controller, click on add. Instead of index action, we need add or edit action with id as parameter. By default, it will be zero. Now let me copy the namespace of user class into user controller. And I'm going to create user object inside the action as user model. And I'm passing the object into view. Now we need to create a view with name add or edit. For that, right click on view, then click on add view. Keep the name as it is. Select the template as create, then select the model class as user. Check the user layout page, click on add. This is our add or edit view which is created using MVC scaffolding mechanism. Let me run the application now. For that, hold control then press F5. 
so this is how the user registration page looks like and in the eraser code you can see that we have not specified any layout page here so it will take the default layout page as underscore layout CSS HTML and here you can see it set the uh, page title from viewback.title so here we have passed viewback.title as add or edit that's why you can see add or edit in the uh, title so first of all we need to change the add or edit into user registration and then you can see two header part here one is add or edit and user instead of that we need only one header h2 header as user registration and then you can see the uh, submit button as create instead of that i need it as submit for that you can change the value of the button as submit and finally we have the link as back to list so let's get rid of that let me reload the page now now it looks fine so here we need to add controls for confirm password for that we need to add confirm password property into user class for that string confirm password and i want to change the display name as display name for this you need to use the using statement system dot command model display name will be confirm space password and i'm going to update the add or edit view for that copying the div for password and pasting the changing password to confirm password let me build the solution reload the page so here we have the HTML controls for confirm password now we need to add some client side validation into our user registration form in order to work with uh, client side validation we need three scripts file first one is jquery library itself and then we need jquery validate and jquery validate dot unboost it. so here we have added the jquery here in layout page and in the add or edit we have included the jquery validate and jquery validate dot unboost it file now we need to specify the uh, validation rules in our user class before that we need to show the text inside the password and confirm password text box as dots for that you can use data type attribute for that you have to use the namespace system dot component model dot data annotation inside the attribute we need to specify data type as password same for confirm password also now we are going to specify the validation uh, rules first of all we need username as required and then we will enter the error message error message will be shown if the validation fails this field is required same for password also in case of confirm password we need compare validator with the exact password for that you can add the attribute compare compare confirm password with password just build the solution reload the page now just try to submit the form without entering any field so here you can see the required validation error message shown here 
with username and password so these uh, validation error messages will be shown using the razor code validation message for the property so if i enter admin and password as 123 and just trying to type 123 here you can see the validation or message confirm password and password do not match if i enter 123 it will vanish as you know this is a html form so upon the form submission data from the form will be sent to form action url so we need to specify the url that will handle this uh, form submission and we will be specifying the action and controller here inside the begin form method first parameter will be the action name add or edit then controller name it will be user and then the form method that will be post then we build the solution reload the page then try to get the try the inspect of this form and then if you check the form tag here you can see the action is user add or edit inside the user controller we have one action add or edit but it is for http get request not for http post request so we need another add or edit action for http post so it will be like public action result add or edit then the parameter will be user object so data from the form will be sent to this user object so now we need to save the values from posted form into our user tab for that you can just type using db models that is the uh, name that we have given when we imported the idio.identity model into our model db model equals new db models db models dot users dot add user model db model dot save changes so here we have saved user details into user table now we will clear form controls by calling model state dot clear function and we will set the view back dot success message here we will return the same view add or edit with new user object now we need to update add or edit view in order to show success message the for that let me copy the div for submit button and pasting here changing class instead of submit button we need label with class label hyphen success this is a class inside bootstrap to show a greenish color to our label view bag dot success message build the solution reload the page let me enter some user details here user1 p1 as password p1 is admin is checked submit the form so here you can see the registration successful message let me check the user table now yes here you can see we have added the user details into our user table finally we are going to prevent duplicate username in user table for that we need few 
updates in our add or edit post action for that you can do something like this if db models dot users dot any x such that x dot username equals user model dot username if this condition is true it means there is a user with same username so we will set the view back duplicate duplicate message username already exist return the view add or edit return the same user model that is passed from the post method and let me update the add or edit view in order to show the duplicate message for that we can copy this div for success message and change as per our need instead of success message we need duplicate message and instead of success class we need to uh, show the danger class so it will show in red color with the solution reload the page now try to enter the same username as previous user1 p2 p2 submit the form here you can see the duplicate error message username already exists so if i change user1 to user2 then submit the form here you can see that registration is successful if you check the user table you can see that here that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video tutorial in the previous video we have discussed how to create login page in mvc application and drop down list in mvc application and related videos links will be there in video description and in the topmost comment of this video please go through that please be subscribed to my channel and don't forget to like and share the video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day. Bye.